Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, there is this video that has went viral that I want to share with you. And the incident is said to have happened in Turkey, far away from Nigeria. This video is a prime example of how someone would just sit down and a person will use his hand to call for a huge problem, an unnecessary problem for himself. So the only reason I am showing this young man's face in this video is because this video is basically everywhere and I am sure that most of you have already seen it. Now before I play the video for you guys, let me quickly give you guys the premise of what happened. Now I really don't know how this whole thing started, but the first video that went viral is this particular video you are seeing here. I think someone had asked this young man a question and the next thing the young man said was that Ayes not get mouth now. After the young man said that, he noticed that the person that asked him a question is making a video. And the young man had said that even if you want to post it, post it. So let me play the first clip for you guys and I will come back and do a little bit of analysis before I play the other clips for you guys. Ayes not get mouth now. What do you want to post? Post them now. Hey, post, post them now. So you have heard what he said, it's a 6 seconds video and this 6 seconds can land you into a problem. And this 6 seconds clip can change somebody's life. So after he said this, he did not know that this will go viral. Which is really surprising to me because if you want to go viral, it's just for you to say things like this about any organization or any group. Because a lot of people will be interested to know who you are for you to have said that, especially as your face is showing in the video. Now this video was posted on TikTok and trust me, TikTok is like a wildfire. Anything that happens, you put it on TikTok. Just forget about it, that thing has gone into the wide and into the hands of a lot of people. So after the young man had noticed that the video has went viral, he made another video to apologize and he was explaining in the video. Let me play the video for you guys so you will also hear from him himself when he was apologizing. I beg you guys, please, me on a novice, you get one video where I do, where they go viral, where I talk, say I use them, they no game out, please. I don't mean to say that, it's because of my business, maybe where I'm working, then fight, people begin mentioning all those um, Curtis names, that's why I talk my own, and me, say if I don't even drink. I don't even know what night like they talk, self. I just talk them, but I don't even know say the person the video the video the thing through through. Please, guys, please. Anybody I offended for the video, please, you guys should forgive me. I don't know anything, please. Thank you for understanding. Please. So you guys have heard when he was apologizing, but the problem with his apology is that the people that he spoke to, they did not really receive the apology very well. They were very angry at what he said at first that went viral. And unfortunate for him, he was caught right there in Turkey by the same group that he had referred to. And I will play that video for you guys and come back to continue the analysis. Why are you not talking about that one? Where you I have apologized all I use worldwide for the video I make. Please forgive me. For the video I make, did did go out out of my foolishness? Please, all the IS people, forgive me. God bless IS. Please, I will not do this thing. I will not do this kind of thing again. I do it out of foolishness. Please, all the IS people, forgive me. Yeah. 
And I want to say that the young men that caught him, they are very considerate when it comes to things like this. Imagine this young man had said something like this in Nigeria, in Lagos State, and he is being caught by the people he has spoken to here in Lagos. The story wouldn't have been the same, and he is lucky that he had done this in Turkey, and he is also lucky that the people that caught him in Turkey are very considerate. And I want to make you guys understand that even if you have a problem with anyone who is a confraternity, member don't talk to the confraternity that he belongs to if you want to insult someone insult the person in question I i'm talking about all the confraternities across don't just insult people in a particular confraternity just because there is something that is irritating you and what seems to have saved this young man it seems like the young man does not belong to any confraternity imagine if he was a rival confraternity and this had happened only god knows how this was going to end so this is the situation of what happened in Turkey. Anyway, you are watching Nigerian Feel.